This episode of The Bald and the Beautiful is sponsored by Etsy. Hey there, Bald and the Beautiful listeners. It's the holiday season, so I want to talk to you about Etsy. Ah, whether you're searching for custom home pieces like cutting boards, linens, and throw pillows for your favorite holiday house, or personalized items like purses, necklaces, and seasonal jackets for your most stylish friends and family, guess what, Beth? Etsy has it all. Listen, I've got the most wonderfully seductive giant blue Berber Moroccan rug from Etsy. And that's just the tip of the iceberg rug-wise when it comes to my purchases on Etsy. So whether you need something for the home chef in your life like serveware and cookware or style pieces like rings, clutches, and seasonal jackets, I think we need a jacket here. For that trend-setting special someone, Etsy has it for all budgets and any gifting mission. New to Etsy? Use the code HOLIDAY10 for 10% off your first purchase. That's code HOLIDAY10. Maximum discount value of $50 expires December 31st, 2023. See terms at etsy.com slash terms. For handcrafted and affordable gifts for everyone on your list, Etsy has it. Shop etsy.com. Today's episode of The Bald and the Beautiful is brought to you by our friends at Ritual. This is a weird segue, but have you ever bailed on a party because you're so bloated that you have to wear sweatpants out? Hey, girl. No shame, Ritual literally created Symbiotic Plus with that weird gut stuff in mind. It contains clinically studied prebiotics, probiotics, and postbiotic to support a balanced gut microbiome. Daily three-in-one prebiotic, probiotic, and postbiotic with two of the world's most clinically studied probiotic strains to support the relief of mild and occasional bloating, gas, and diarrhea. Why include a postbiotic? It provides fuel to the cells that make up the gut lining and support a healthy gut barrier. Win, win. You really have to think about what's going in your body. And I love Symbiotic Plus here because it makes that easy for me. Symbiotic Plus and Ritual are here to celebrate, not hide your insides. There's no more shame in your gut game. That's why Ritual's offering my listeners 30% off during your first month. Visit ritual.com slash bald to start Ritual or add Symbiotic Plus to your subscription today. You know what I realized? The thing I hate the most in this world, more than like murder or genocide, I think is shit. So, excuse me. Taking a shit? All of it. Handling it? I was uh, taking the, the trash um, the trash cans back into my garage this morning because it was trash night last night. And I opened um, one of them. The recycling had a, a dog shit in there. Why do they do that in well, Los no, Angeles? No, easily, easily. I understand. It was wrapped in, in it was wrapped. But so. But it's, it's in the recycling bin. But, but it, it was in a bin, period. Okay, well, okay, yeah, it's better I'm than leaving making, it on the floor, of it, course. Or better, better than leaving it on the, the ground or in the yard or throwing it, hucking it into my open window, into my, <laughs> into my mouth. I, by the way, I love that <laughs> you, your home is so private. You have no eyeline to the street, and you really believe that the people on the street are out to get Mama, you. They're, they're not out to get me. They're organized. They're unionized. They're, they're lined up, and they're, they're, they're planned, and they're, they're plotting and scheming. And I'm in there with my breasts out, my mouth wide open, chomping, chomping, and they're throwing... Uh, little bags of dog shit into my window right in my open mouth but they're not <laughs> no no so anyways but so the somebody walked by with their dog and put a little dog shit in my um my bin and i said ah oh, you know that's really horrible because all, that thing is gonna bake in there it's gonna bake in the 90 degree day I know. and that bin is gonna be fucking dog shit it, just gonna it's be one thing to be dog shit it's another thing to cook it baked, for me cooked dog shit in the you're putting it in basically a solar hot dog oven you're doing it you're putting it in the slow cooker yeah the, the, the crock pot yeah the, the dog shit crock bag of a dog shit souffle in there now. Anyways, the and then I thought about human shit and how much I hate that. And then um and then I realized, I was like, I just hate that so, so, so much. It's like the thing I hate the most in life. You know, I- The this most is, this is life. This is maybe, I'm not, a, I'm not a dog owner. No, human shit. I almost think dog shit is worse. This is why I won't get a pet. I, I not, love animals. I do Lifelong too. vegetarian. I, I would rather them. be in a room full of dogs than people. Absolutely. But the, what, you're, the, uh, what I'm committing to. Taking uh, that hand and squeezing. palpating that hot turd. I know. I, of course it's, it's, under, it's with a shield of plastic, but that doesn't matter to me. That really doesn't matter If you to have me. a dog poop, well, if you have a dog and it has, it has poop, which it probably does. Yeah. If your dog's not pooping, go to the vet. Yeah. You know, when you pick up the poop you're with the plastic and you turn inside out yeah. and you've never technically touched the poop. Do you feel comfortable smelling, smelling your hand, touching your face? Or caressing or, the, the cheek of your beloved. Right. 
is that enough of a barrier that you're like, we're good? I don't think so. Or do you is. think, or do you walk home sort of like, ugh, gotta wash this? Because not to be <sighs> ignorant, I never had a dog in the city. In the country, the dog would run into the woods, do pooping, and I, I would never even know about the dog. Right, pooping. exactly. The dog even knew not to poop in the yard. Yeah. We'd never see dog poop. Yeah. We had a we had a chihuahua that would go poop its little teeny Tootsie Roll turds in the bushes. Right. Even yes. in the bushes. We never saw it. We never it was not we never palpated its fucking turds with our fingertips. Right. It, they went but do people? Into, do you think people feel clean enough after clean up the poop? They're like, there was plastic. I don't know. I mean, I I, I really don't know. I don't. I, I, I just, eat off the floor, so like, if I drop candy or flow on the onion off the floor, so maybe I, I can't talk because people I, no. shoes walk on the street, which has poop, and then they walk in the house and I eat the candy off the floor. I don't think we're really. I don't think that's on the same level as palpating with our fingertips the the feces of a dog. I think you're probably. I, that's the re- that's the reason I won't. I mean, there's a lot of degrading things I I have done and will continue to do in my life. But oh, yeah. that one is just not part of it. That scooping it up with my hands. I know. So, I know. It's so disgusting to me. Well, let's say you're really rich and you have a dog walk and you have somebody who comes and cleans up the poos twice a week. Maybe it's just never your problem, but still, then you just have. I don't like time. that though. It's like, but cat boxes is worse. Litter oh, boxes is God. worse, honey. Litter oh. boxes is worse. Oh, hi. This is um. This is my cat. And this is the sandbox in the bathroom that my cat shits in. I know. The open air sandbox filled with fucking cat turds. And pee. In my house. And pee. Chunked ammonia. up pee. Neon yellow ammonia. Pee. Would you like a brick of cat piss for lunch? Because it's certainly on It's on display in like, the room 50 feet to our left. Yeah, this, open li- this air. litter turns blue if your cat's going to die. I'm like, okay. It's what do we horrible. need to learn from our cat's pee? Absolutely nothing. fucking nothing. No, absolutely we're not reading tea leaves. No, no, no. We're, we're not, not. We're not picking up bricks of piss and then and then and then um, gravelly shit turds from the cat's ass. No. From the cat's ass. Yeah, I know. Now, <laughs> just give the cat pure for men, and then the cat will have a little owl pellet. <laughs> no moisture. Okay. Okay. You can't, I, I, you can't go too hard on the pure for men. Pets are not for me. If you go too hard on the pure for men, that poop's never coming out. What ha- wait, 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 for real, real? I thought it was fiber. I thought it would be it like- It is, but if you go too hard on the pure for men, what that happens? poop is like, guess what? Now I'm a cinder block and you're going to have to <gasps> surgically extract me. Oh, you're going to have to call Dr. Oz Oh no, to digital get down here. extraction. Yeah, you got to be digital careful. Digital extraction. I don't, I don't take that stuff. I don't know. I don't, I, 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 oh. I, I again, I don't want to talk about bottoming, but I do- do it. Okay. What do we have to learn? Well, so that's a little gross. Yeah. You're involved. <laughs> I so, so. just it depends on how you tell it. So, tell it like a hot story. Okay, so and then it'll be hot. So I, can't, I have a hard time doing that. I have a hard time uh, thinking about previous sexual encounters involving me and making them hot. Yeah, t- t- <laughs> yeah, tell it like Kathleen Turner. Okay. Old man no, river, no. That old sexy voice. Man river. Wow. He came wow. over. I'll tell like Amanda. Yeah, wow. he came over. It's about five ten. Big blue eyes. Oh. Really big cock. Ooh. He took out his cock Ooh. and I was like, "Ask me a second. I was like, "Okay, yeah, I will." And then we like we had a god like a great erotic time. And then he ate my ass for like an hour. <laughs> Is that the gross story? Yes. So that's like the part that kind of befuddles Do you like your ass me. Eaten? I. Oh, it's not for everyone. It's, but, um, so it's my favorite thing to do. I would say, um, you prefer to do it than have it done. Absolutely, interesting. Absolutely, because um, I lean more towards the, the the like top aggressor side of things. Yeah. Than the than the bottom receiver uh, side of things. Um, but Aggre- I don't like that you said aggressor. Uh, well, because in sex, I'm the aggressor. <laughs> like that makes it seem like every instance is violent somehow. <laughs> Can you R-A-B-I-S-T. say more? <laughs> yeah, that's. <laughs> Can you say perhaps maybe you're just more dominant? I'm the aggressor in bed. I'm the aggressor. That is so intense. <laughs> but I know what you mean. I'm, I'm the, the perpetrator. perpetrator. <laughs> I know what you mean. I'm more of the perp. Are you a top or a bottom? Vic. I'm the aggressor. <laughs> in court, they would call me the aggressor. The perp and the vic. Who's yeah. the perp? Who's the vic? Oh fuck. Okay. okay. If you're the bottom, you're the victim. What if I say like, <laughs> uh, uh, in bed? I'm more of a victim. Like that's inappropriate. The aggressor, because that makes it sound like the other person doesn't want to have sex, and maybe they don't. No, no. <laughs> maybe you're. Maybe, maybe. Well, shit. No, they do. Unfortunately, um, 
And, Sounds uh, like they do. They're eating your ass. Yeah, it's crazy. I'm like, you really want to do all that? It's like uh, going back to cat turds, you know? No, but, no, no. Uh, they no, like no. it. No, no. And I'm not, I'm not dirty, of course. I'm not, you know, that's crazy. I'm not that. But like, I don't know. I don't know what the point of that story was. Oh, I, I know. See how- I know. I know. I'm going on a porn cleanse again. Okay. Again, 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 again. I think last time or the time before we talked, I had deleted my OnlyFans account. Well, I made another one. Shit. And then, <laughs> so I deleted you that gave one. It the old college try. <laughs> yeah. listen, what I know about listen, you is when it comes to you wellness, yeah. <laughs> you love to give it your best for about six to eight hours. Yeah. And mama, listen, that's better than not doing it at all. Okay. Tea. Yeah. McDonald's. So, <laughs> so, so, but I, and then I, I, um, I deleted it again. I was following 13 people. 13 people. That's 13 my, reasons why. That, <laughs> 13 that's, ghosts. That's at least $130. Oh, right. I didn't think about a the money. Month. Yeah. And that's like, and that's. Which, the, by the way, you're supporting the actors, supporting the artists. Yeah, but you know what, though? Let's talk about some of these fucking actors. Well, you and I talked about how important Let's it is to, if you can, fucking ethically actors. source porn. Yes. Buy it directly yes. from the spigot. Drink Absolutely. from the Drink from the spigot. Drink from the spigot and, and pay for that. And pay, pay for it. Pay for it. Um, however, as a consumer, you know, I am entitled to have my own opinions of what I am consuming. Uh, consumerreport.com. Of course. I can, I can write my own Glass reviews. Door. Yeah. Glassbottomboat.com. <laughs> Glassbottomboat.com. T. <laughs> well, you know, what about, tea. if I had an OnlyFans? T. T, bitch. <laughs> if I had OnlyFans, I would tease like, you guys want to see my fat cock? And I would probably do it in drag because I know that's what they want, right? They want like, they want like oh, me in drag. Yep. And then all oh, the, fuck. all the content would be 0.5 close up pictures of my face. <laughs> like the nose super the big. The way you would get just mama, not, not a single fucking subscriber. Not well, a there was single somebody we used to talk subscriber. about who would Ooh, tease their OnlyFans okay. and it would be like underwear butt pics. And we'd be like, bring a book, bitch. Bring and then a recently, fucking book. Recently on like a Twitter porn account, I saw one of their pirated videos and I went, I guess she finally gave up the ghost. Yes, yeah, she finally did. And she's getting DP'd Good by, for her. by huge Good Spanish for her because cocks. you know what? Put a, yeah. uh, girl. Yeah. No, I know. Girl. I know. I know. And by the way, Momo. just don't overpromise. If this yes. is your sexy underwear yeah. account, gym yeah, yeah, picture yeah. account, just be don't honest. Don't overpromise and underdeliver, which just is a lot honest. of these scammers are doing on OnlyFans. Yeah. Now, and, and OnlyFans is like a not a great um, digital marketplace because you don't get previews. You don't get to browse through a, you don't get to window shop. You can't even search. For, it's like, like, I think I was like, oh, who was that guy? I think his name was like, Tall top stud or something of that effect. You can't search unless you know exactly the name. Yeah, bad skin Eddie. Yeah, bad skin Eddie with the big old the goiter. Yeah, 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 nothing. You'd have to you know exactly. What, it's not a great website. You got to know their exact, exact like exact period exclamation yeah, point. Yeah, three like, X's, not two. It's like it sucks. The, the website sucks. Shit. Sorry something about being named Trixie is sometimes people will automatically put several X's, and I'm like, you think I'm over here doing porn, fingering myself <laughs> in a video? You think it's Trixie, triple X Trixie? Please, bitch. I'm in here in a bouffant cooking in an easy bake oven. Please, bitch. Her pussy tight like a drum. Yeah. No. Her, her pussy. Like, like, yeah. Like, it's, okay. it's, it's, it's not happening. Well, anyway, so a lot of some of these, um, uh, some of these uh, creators, this is what they get into. Apology videos. What? No, like they're, it's not even not apology videos. Apology paragraphs. Like, sorry, I haven't, sorry, I haven't created anything in, in, a, in a while. It's Mental Health Awareness Month. I know you came here to jerk off, but here's a yeah, picture of my dog. Exactly. It's like things have not been going so well. It's like, Mary, I wish you the best, but we're here to jerk I it. hope you dance. <laughs> I hope you dance. I hope you dance. But in the meantime, <laughs> in the meantime, drop the pants. I know. <laughs> you know what well, I mean? No, it's like, I do it's have sympathy crazy. because. No, I do too. I do too. But on the other hand, where's my $10? Well, I've learned with the YouTube channel, with my YouTube channel, Bank it when you're in the mood. Thank you. And that way, you if have you have an off week, yes. you're like, oh, good, we have something. Exactly. When you, you can, when you're following somebody and you can see the scramble marks, when they're scramble.com, what does that mean? When they're scrambling. Oh, like they're you can tell they're not exactly and scraggling. They're like they're going back into the vault to like upload a JPEG as content for that week. It's like, Mary, you don't got nothing. Well, you and I you had a sub stack. Nothing. You got that nothing. was a lot of work. It's a lot of work. Substack because drove us. Insane. insane because it, it was three insane. it was three posts a week i believe that's three it unique was, posts a week it, it, it was it was it, it, it was, was the worst of times it was the it worst, was the of, worst <laughs> of times it was truly yeah 
It was truly, yeah, it was horrible. And a lot of these people do not know what they're getting into. And I can see it. I can see, I can see the, they're the, like, well, I'm hot. the trajectory. Yes. It goes from the realization that one is hot. And then the realization that one would watch me be hot. And then they go, I'm a porn star. Ooh, there's a lot in between those, that second also, and third step. porn stars equal to, it's, it's open to interpretation. Absolutely. You know? Yeah. Th- there are less and less, I feel, bona fide porn stars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because there used to be no options. Right. Now there's so many creators. Yeah. You can find whoever type of whoever having any type yes. of sex. Which and is great. Global. Globally. You're having to compete globally. Your favorite porn person might have 10 followers. Yeah. They just might do something you love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereas it used to be like, well, it's the same dozen guys on the DVDs. Right, exactly. Now there's a whole world to choose from. But but people don't realize is that, well, it's not it's not just that you're hot. It's not that just you're having sex. It's that someone's filming it and it's well lit. That is well edited and that's uploaded. Sound that's perfect. If you're fucking a pussy, I want to hear squelch. I want to hear medical level. Like, (laughs) I want to know exactly the amount of juice in that pussy. Like tablespoon by tablespoon. I'm serious. I'm serious. I love like 4K close up pussy fucking. Love it. Love it. And it's kind of a victimless crime. No one has to show their face. No one like could be anyone. I'm not even joking. I won't be made fun of. I'm not making fun of you. This episode is brought to you by Rakuten. This holiday season, now more than ever, it's time to give. Are you giving? I'm a giver, and I like for that living room to be stacked so high with presents that you can't even see the tree. And that requires a lot of shopping. And that's why I love Rakuten, the smartest way to save money when you shop, because you can stack holiday sales on top of cash back to maximize your savings. No matter who you're shopping for, Rakuten will help you earn cash back. That's cash back on gifts for your family, friends, lover or lovers, postal carriers, veterinarians, you name it. Everyone's getting a gift this year, and I mean everyone, because Rakuten has 3,700 stores across every single category. Fashion, beauty, electronics, home essentials, travel, dining, and so much more. That includes stores like Adidas, Macy's, Sephora, and Urban Outfitters. So this holiday season, you are going to be Mrs. Claus, the dazzling talents of Mrs. Jennifer Claus. I recently signed up for Rakuten and let me tell you, it was so easy to sign up for my free membership and now I'm all set on their app and browser extension. So never again will I check out on an online order without making sure I'm earning that sweet, sweet cash back. I popped off at Bloomingdales.com buying so much stuff and lovely things for myself and for others. Ooh, I got so much cash back with Rakuten at Bloomingdales. So what are you waiting for? Join Rakuten's 17 million members who are already earning $4.6 billion in cash back. Not each collectively, obviously, but still. Make sure you start all your shopping trips at Rakuten.com or get the Rakuten app to start saving today. Your cash back really adds up. This episode of The Bald and the Beautiful is sponsored by Etsy. Hey there, Bald and the Beautiful listeners. It's the holiday season, so I want to talk to you about Etsy. Ha! Ah. You're on a mission to find handcrafted, affordable gifts made by independent sellers. Well, whether you're searching for custom home pieces like cutting boards, linens, and throw pillows for your favorite holiday house, or personalized items like purses, necklaces, and seasonal jackets for your most stylish friends and family, guess what, Beth? Etsy has it all. Listen, I've got the most wonderfully seductive giant blue Berber Moroccan rug from Etsy, and that's just the tip of the iceberg rug-wise when it comes to my purchases on Etsy, not to mention the one-of-a-kind handmade jewelries that I sport on my earlobes, around my neck, or in my little teeny tiny wrists, bracelets. Yes, I love Etsy. Ooh, maybe I do. So I was looking for an irregularly sized rug for my little kitchen space, and guess what I found? A rug to fit the same dimensions in a wonderful style that I appreciate every day. Oh, Etsy, you do me so right. So whether you need something for the home chef in your life, like serveware and cookware or style pieces like rings, clutches, and seasonal jackets, I think we need a jacket here. For that trend-setting special someone, Etsy has it for all budgets and any gifting mission. New to Etsy? Use the code HOLIDAY10 for 10% off your first purchase. That's code HOLIDAY10. Maximum discount value of $50 expires December 31st, 2023. See terms at etsy.com slash terms. For handcrafted and affordable gifts for everyone on your list, Etsy has it. Shop etsy.com. Toy, I also love, I specifically love Ugh, toy I videos. Yeah, just you. 
Home toy wet, videos, really which wet. is also like, oh yeah, you yeah, can yeah. make that without having to schedule another person. Yes, you can. Totally. You can actually wait till you get horny. Yes, and then just film it. Exactly, which is great. I love that too. And it's like I, I, I bristle at this whole like collab thing. Collab. Drop the collab. Girl, drop, drop the, the collab. collab. Drop it. Drop the collab, Mary. Drop collabing as a concept. Thank you. Drop the collab, sis. Um, and then I don't know. Treating this, don't oh. treat the sex like you guys have been asking for it. Oh. Treat it like you want to do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. That yeah, yeah, turns yeah, yeah. me on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, I've wanted uh, to fuck this guy for a long time and I'm so excited. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to hear that you want to fuck this person. Yeah. I don't want to hear that you were like, you guys have been writing in. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. That you want the me to fuck. Votes have been cast. Kobe like, Cade or who, I don't know, whatever yeah, yeah, their yeah, fucking yeah, yeah, fake yeah. ass name is. Yeah. But we have fake names too, but you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, it's, it's so fierce. And I had, I was like, I was like, thank God. Little, 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 these little motherfuckers, they're like these lazy ass little creators not doing nothing. And it's just like, oh my God, bloop, delete, By the way, get out I've of never done porn, cannot, cannot act like I would do a better job. I'm not no. saying I would do a better job. Oh, I would be the, I mean, I, when I was doing the, my fake little drag, um, funny porno shit on OnlyFans, it was so much work. That's why you quit. so much work after three months. Yeah. So much work. I think we maybe did like two, two posts a week. With like a a big marquee video at once a month, and that was like too much. Yeah, that was too much. So we have yeah, weekly videos on my channel. One video a week is a full job. It's someone's full job to produce that. Yeah, and it's also don't you think it's like um, it's consistency is the key there, especially on YouTube. Yeah, if you don't upload at least once a week regularly, you get canned. I think the algorithm doesn't care about you as much, and people start to go, oh, you have a Monday video. Your videos are Mondays. Yeah. People do remember they that. They tune into that, yeah. Um, I mean, the more you upload, the, I do think just the more traction. Yeah. For So for a while, I was doing my videos on Monday. Tuesdays, I think I had a Twitch stream. Wednesdays, I think was... Uh, uh. Thursdays sometimes was, I think, Pit Stop, mm -hmm. Drag Race. Fridays Friday was, was a live stream. And I think Saturdays was... uh. So you had for something a while, on I had every six, fucking day. Five or six YouTube things a that's week. Crazy. Was that's crazy. Which was crazy, yeah. but that's what makes the algorithm rhythm go, you like this video? I'm going to automatically recommend the next Trixie video. Yeah, 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 yeah. It does all cross inseminate. Yeah, 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 yeah. And for porn people, it's not the same because so many of these social media things restrict them. Yeah. And I oh, do know true. gay people, a gay guy showing his butt on Instagram probably will get <laughs> flagged because they think they hate more gay people. Right. That's what some people say. Mm. Although I do know gay people who are truly prolapsed on the internet. And they're like, I know. And they're I like, didn't break a fucking rule. I'm like, I saw your, your, I saw your, in, I, your intestines. I saw your liver. <laughs> yeah. It's right. You know, you were stretching the rules, Mary. Yeah. yeah you know, yeah. so I, I'm doing a porn cleanse. Oh yeah. Oh, so what's so, what, so can, can we ask, can yeah. I ask, yeah. when did you know your relationship with porn became something you needed to cleanse? It's well, because, um, when I, that's a really good question. When you can I, be a specific or non-specific, yeah, yeah. but I've I never think, had that moment okay. where I go too much porn. Too much, well, because I think like um, when it, when I become when and I'm less focused on like it's hard to say. Like I think with the sex stuff, um, you have to be like in the room. You have to be in the room, like where your feet are. Like do you, I know? It's so often I feel like there's like a disconnect between like. Uh, uh, and the eyeball gooning, gooning. Like right. you're just like, but you're not actually the sensation of where you are, where your body is. is not actually, it's kind of like a moot. You're like disconnected in a way. Um, also it's just too much. It's just too much. And I'm like, I'm, I'm like, uh, wrapped up in like, it's just like a lot of mental noise and stuff. Jerking off has never been a, like, I'm you know, for some people, they do it maybe a lot when they're depressed. Mm. When I'm really depressed, I can't do it. Mm hmm. But that doesn't happen very often. I, and I, it's never been something where when I'm not doing good, I do it all the time. So okay. I guess that I don't relate to. Okay. Yeah. I, I, it's, not, it's not that I do it all the time. It's just like, because um, I never do it more than once a day. So what? Okay. Um, but it's just the the quality of my actual sex life suffers. Really? Absolutely. Okay. Wow. When I'm watching too much porn. Okay. Wow. Because then it's just, it's just, it's looking at something far away that has nothing to do with the here and now. Sure. Sounds, sounds, sounds very vague, but. Well, I mean, the worst sex is better than the best porn. As far as like the heightened <sighs> fluids so and, and brain and the excitement and the, f and also with so sex, too. with a hookup, there's like a certain amount of fear and like unknown and mm -hmm. with jerking off, there's a, there's a lot of safety. 
Yeah. There's a lot of no one else is here. Yeah. I know how this is going to end. And for me, I think it's much better. It, it's just hyper. It, it, um, it's overstimulation. Like the, the having access to like a crisp, clear 4K like orgy or something is like not something that everyone would really have access to because mm -hmm. it's so not in the realm of actual possibility in real life. Like I like it's it's hyper. It's too it's overstimulating. I want to be able to like imagine with my brain and have that be enough. Sure. That's well, all. that's, that's, that, that, that's like for me, that's like my, my goal from like my sexual health is like to just imagine with your brain and then that's it. And otherwise don't fucking jerk off. Yes. I will say when I lived alone, I probably did it more. Mm -hmm. When you live with someone or share like a bed with oh, someone. Then yeah, no. I don't do it that much because there's not that much privacy in bed. Right. Yeah. And if I want to do that, I'm probably just going to do that with, with the person. Right. I think when my brother visited, he was there for three or four days. I did not jerk off. It doesn't really even cross your mind. No, not even. Didn't yeah. be, although when he when he left, I was like, whoa, I'm horny. Yeah. You know, <laughs> I, was like, I was like, Jesus Christ. Chump come everywhere. Like, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. yeah, nuts. So you're quitting porn for how long? Um, I'm going to do two weeks. That's very doable. Are you still going to jerk off? Can you jerk off with no porn? Absolutely you can. Okay, great. Absolutely you so can. It's not, it's not a, it's not a, oh, there's not an issue. There's not a, it's not an embargo on jerking off, but I guarantee you that the jerking off will happen less frequently. Sure. But it's an embargo on pornography, which for me is also gets into like Twirlina Phuket right. territory and like things like that. What do we call it? Um, um, uh, Miss Pookie and Ms. the Pookie Crystal Twirlets. <laughs> Miss Pookie and the Miss, Crystal Twirlettes. Yeah, Pookie Tina and her Crystal Pookie Tina and the Crystal Twirlettes. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah, it's it skids like, a little close it, to that. And it's also it has it lends itself to compulsive behavior. Hundred percent. If the, if the behavior is compulsive, then it's not good. You know. Well, do you so. have that real addict shit where this is a little um, personal? <laughs> where if you don't do that thing, it ju you just do something else. Uh, if no, you're not doing this, you're no. like overeating. If you're not overeating, no. you're exercising. If you're not exercising, you're fucking. You're not, you know no, what I mean? No, I don't. I don't have the, like the, it doesn't, it's not like a- Transfer addiction. Or, or a, I watched a TikTok. Whack-a-mole. It's not like whack-a-mole. Okay. Like for, I was kind of like confused with the smoking cigarettes, like, cause it, it didn't transfer anywhere else. Like it didn't go. I That's didn't, great. Well, yeah, I know. But I was, I was like confused. Oh, some was, like, people snack when they quit. They gain a right? hundred fucking pounds yeah. when they quit smoking. Or they, they do that fucking stupid ass Nicorette gum. And then they can't get rid of that, but which by the way is so absurd. Yeah. Um, but you know, like things like that, it didn't, it just left. It was like, we have a, we have a perfect, we have an intruder in the house. They're gone. Interesting. And you're like, that seems like a best case scenario. Or no did shit. it just freak you out? You it were did, surprised. It did, but it freaked me out because it was like, uh, okay. You thought you were going to like start pulling out your eyelashes or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Seriously. I was like, am I going to start cutting myself? Yeah. Like, I don't know. Anything, like, like nipple something. tweaking. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Or I think but, some people they snack because they need a mouth thing, a touch uh, something, thing, something, anything. I was like, this the behavior was Candy? anything, anything. It was not replaced whatsoever. I didn't eat any more. Interesting. I didn't eat any less. I didn't like do any. I mean, the only thing is that I think I probably exercise a little bit more just because I can and it feels better, but not really. Yeah, it's strange. Anyway, so um, yeah, the I when so I quit drinking, that. when I quit drinking, I just told you this the other day. Yeah, suddenly performing with you becomes like, that is my, my shot of fireball for the day. So sad. In that bleak, I'm so like, sad. you and I screaming about fucking Lauren Boebert might be the best thing that happens to me all day. Isn't that horrible? Whereas I used to leave here and be like, I need a drink. You know what I mean? I'd be like, I'm going to go have a nice glass of wine or like clue. I'm going to have sex with my, my wife. wife. I'm going to go home and yeah, sleep yeah. with my wife. And now like exercise and performing, that <sighs> is my, uh, that is my vodka soda. Oh, so. I, Mary, I went when we were when we were done with um fucking um uh, yesterday. I, we hadn't done it in a while. I feel like yeah, we hadn't done it in a while. And I hadn't been um, I hadn't filmed in a while. I hadn't been in drag in a while uh -huh. all day long. And I got home. I got a wind that was so fierce. I said, and I was angry. I have was filled with rage. Why? I, just because I was like overstimulated and I was like over it. You get like, a second wind when yeah. you get out of drag. You're like, oh, it's yeah. five p.m. The sun's still out. The, ex you know? Exactly that was that same was, thing happened to me. Yeah, exactly that. And I was like, because I I got people don't understand. It's exhausting, but it's also not exhausting being it's, in drag. It's exhausting, but once the pain disappears, you're like, 
Well, I'm in much better shape than I and thought also, I was. And also, I didn't do anything all day. I sat in a chair all day. Yeah. Like that really, that really it's gets mentally me. mentally this, but it's physically, physically not. No, it's yeah. uncomfortable, but it's not... It's not. Um, it's not mall walking. No, and it's not. It's not satisfying. It's right. not. Um, and it's not. Uh, you, when you work out, you. Oh. And I usually save the Red Bull for the latter half of. Uh. Yeah. So when I do leave, I'm kind of awake. Yeah. So I get home and I take a quick shower and I'm like, I'm gonna go for a fucking run. That's exactly the. F- that's exactly the fucking thing I did. I got in the shower. I scraped off every bit of dra- drag like a fucking freak. I was like scraping it off, and then I. Ran up the fucking um, the stairs twenty five times. Well, with, the nice thing about with, uh, is by the end of the day, half the makeup's off. I'm like, great, <laughs> my l- fucking lashes here. Yeah. My middle, ugh, I don't know. It was a, be- a beautiful sunset. I was doing kicks, lunges, fucking handstands. I was like, it was a little compul- It was a little like concerning. It was a little, like, what do you got to prove there, Mary? No, are I you used Rocky? To- is this Rocky Four? <laughs> like, what's, <Are> you- <laughs> what's going on? You were Brigitte. <laughs> yeah, I, was like, uh, I usually like. Ugh. I used to always be like, ugh, why is everything in drag so early? And now my dream is to be in full drag shooting by nine. Oh yeah, and done by like three. Well, there you go. Love yeah, yeah, getting yeah. home from full day of drag with the sun out. Oh, like, it's fierce! Oh. It's fierce! It's fierce! Getting home at night, and I hate getting home from a show and feeling wired. Oh, and then it's like one a.m. and I'm like, 1 a.m. I can't sleep. And also, you got to eat. You, you gotta can't eat. eat. You, it's horrible. That is uh, especially uh, if I'm DJing. I usually had a oh. Red Bull and then the adrenaline. I get home. David's fully asleep, and I'm like. Yeah. You know, I just like I, on the other side of the bed, being like, "Should we watch a film?" He's like, "It's two a.m." Yeah, it's horrible. I had a full night last night. Worked out, dinner, screaming bongos, watched the 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 twenty 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 three World Championships. Full full night in bed at fucking ten o'clock. Mary in bed at ten o'clock. Mary, the other night I said to David, "Should we go to bed?" He said, "It's eight o'clock." <laughs> I said, "I didn't ask you what time it was." <laughs> I said, it's should we go to bed? Fierce. It's, it's fierce. amazing. It's fierce. I, I love, and uh, lately I've been cooking. <laughs> Meth. No, I've just been cooking. I'm Walter White. I'm your Jesse Pinkman. I've been cooking. I'm Jesse Redman. <laughs> yeah. I've been cooking. By the way, the Ooh. color symbolism of that show. Ooh. I know. We've talked about okay. it. Okay. Uh, I wanted to cook, and I've been cooking. You Green know, chef? I've been in a phase stuff. of expressing my love for my partner through food. That's good. So I wake up and I think, what does he want to eat tonight? And mm. how do I make it as well as I can? Cauliflower steak. No. <laughs> Carrot no, no, hot no. dogs. <laughs> so every day I wake up in the morning when David wakes up, I'm like, what's your dream meal tonight? Let's do it. Oh my God. And you're I like an my Italian woman. The, my energy in the kitchen is frantic. Because I'm going I'm to... <laughs> Me trying to roast pine nuts. I swear to God, those little fuckers were white. I closed the little oven. I opened it. Black smoke. I swear to God, they were in there 30 minutes. (laughs) Roasting pine nuts. What is a pine nut? Roasting pine nuts for a salad? And then I don't have the tools in the books. You're supposed to shave the broccoli or shave the Brussels sprouts on like a a deli like shaving thing. I don't have that. So I have a big knife. I'm trying to cut my fucking finger off so we can have a broccoli salad. Maybe you need to start a little bit more like level two, level one, level two. And then I'm running into this problem where I get an ingredient like fresh rosemary and I use it for a baked ziti, but now I have a lot left. So then I look up a recipe with rosemary and then I got more weird ingredients. So then to finish those ingredients, I got to buy these. And now I have this weird shit. It's like the fridge is becoming full of items that I don't know what goes Obscure, obscure. Buttermilk, a quart of buttermilk. Everybody in the comments is going to be like, well, actually you can use it. I don't care. (laughs) I will find out myself. You know it all cunt. (laughs) I know it. I know they're going to be like, well, actually, you better not. I will figure it out. I'm not looking for help. Okay. (laughs) I'm just complaining, bitch. I made a salad dressing with it. And then I I know you can put it in pancakes. Yeah. That's my plan. I don't know. Well, that's fun though. I mean. Nutritional yeast. Nutritional nutritional yeast. yeast? The internet says it's to add a cheese flavor without that funk. I'm like, what? Oh, no, thank you. How many, honey, there is no cheese flavor without the funk. Yeah, you don't like cheese. I sure don't. You know why? Because it's funky. Get that funky shit off my plate. Pecorino. Pecorino. Cacio e Pepe. Peccadillo. I love cheese. Pecorino. It's just right. It feels right. Baby bells? Andiamo, Are you fucking kidding me? A baby bell? Shove it up my cheese. ass. Baby bell cheese up the butt? Yeah. I, I, I love being a vegetarian. If I ever took that vegan leap, I did it once for like six months. The no cheese Struggling thing is that. a gaping struggle in my life. Oh, really? It's the no, whole I love. No milk, no cheese. And I know milk is gross. No, no, no. But I sometimes love milk, though. Lucky Charms with some whole milk in it. Eat my ass, bitch. You know what I do? For, you know you eat cereal? I use cream. 
I use I use cream with everything. I, I don't do milk anymore. How about That's that, bitch? Sick. How about that, you fucking bitch? Cornflakes with light cream with half and half every day. Every day. Do you like silk? Almond silk? Nope. It's a little watery for for cereal. Oat milk is dirty water. Oat milk is dirty water. I poured a bunch of dirty water in a... I had a lovely little dark roast cafe coffee. And I said, oh shit, I ran out of half and half. No problem. I got oat milk in the fridge. No, big problem. I pour a bunch of dirty water in that coffee. It stays black. It stays black. (sighs) That's tough. Fuck off. Had a huge... Like nuclear meltdown. Do you drink coffee in the morning? Yes, I do. You every make morning. your own. Yes. Okay, that's amazing because David <sighs> drinks coffee every day and it doesn't make. You it. have to. He's got to tap into the into the fucking. That's it, what it's, I thought. I thought, David, we have so, this new house. Wouldn't you rather be able to make it at and home? And you can make it exactly the way that you want it. Yeah. That's the fierce thing. I do the drip coffee with half and half. But I tell you, nuclear meltdowns on the days that I forget that I ran out of half, ran out of half and half because I can't just waddle out of my house and go to the store like I used to be able to do. Get, get delivery. Oh, it's so wasteful, though. It is. It's so crazy. It's so insane. Alfred but- Coffee makes this rosy black tea. It's a black tea with rose in it. That's lovely. A floral black tea. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, do, you, do, you, do, do you do like Earl Grey flower? The, or the blue flower Earl Grey? Uh, I've never had that. Oh, it's, it's sensational. It's sensational. All those loose leaf black teas, fucking nasty. Today's episode of The Ball and the Beautiful is brought to you by our friends at Ritual. This is a weird segue, but have you ever bailed on a party because you're so bloated that you have to wear sweatpants out? Hey girl, no shame. Ritual literally created Symbiotic Plus with that weird gut stuff in mind. It contains clinically studied prebiotics, probiotics, and postbiotic to support a balanced gut microbiome. So listen, I'm a vegetarian, but I'm not always the most responsible with food. I love to eat extremely late at night. I love to have too much caffeine. I love to drink not enough water. I mean, I really will eat a whole like five pound bag of Sour Patch Kids and then wonder why my stomach hurts sometimes. So that's who I am. Daily three-in-one prebiotic, probiotic, and postbiotic with two of the world's most clinically studied probiotic strains to support the relief of mild and occasional bloating, gas, and diarrhea. Why include a postbiotic? It provides fuel to the cells that make up the gut lining and support a healthy gut barrier. Win, win. You really have to think about what's going in your body. And I love Symbiotic Plus here because it makes that easy for me. In an all-in-one single nested minty capsule, it's no refrigeration needed. So it's easy to take with you when you travel. Some of my other favorite products for gut health, you have to at least mix with water. And it's very convenient that this is just something you take. Symbiotic Plus and Ritual are here to celebrate, not hide, your insides. There's no more shame in your gut game. That's why Ritual's offering my listeners 30% off during your first month. Visit ritual.com slash ball to start Ritual or add Symbiotic Plus to your subscription today. I try not to bring too much hot black tea anymore Mm. because my big fake veneers stay white forever. My bottom teeth turn a, a let's say, tea stained, zombie gray. (laughs) And I know that because of my YouTube videos, people be like, time for bottom veneers, you fucking ugly bitch. <laughs> YouTube is the meanest place in the world. I swear to God. <laughs> I used to think you had good skin. What happened? Oh my it feels God. so wild. They are. What yeah. is that? My weight loss, the comments, why don't you eat? I'm like, why don't you eat, you skinny fuck bitch? <laughs> it's really wild. Why YouTube they, is wild. Why are they like that? Wait, what is it about YouTube, specifically YouTube, that lends itself well, to it's, such a, such a, like so, a graveyard of fucking- um, Twitter brings you back to your Twitter. Instagram, you can click on your name, go back to your Instagram. YouTube is just usually a faceless account where you watch videos from. So there's a lot more oh, freedom. freedom. It's a public forum. Anonymity. There's less uh, accountability. You know That's unfair. I think we can all agree Twitter's the worst. We can all agree Twitter Instagram is, the is worst. second. Twitter's YouTube, the worst. Twitter. YouTube comments are the most. No one's watching a full Unfiltered. YouTube video unless they like you. Why would they be there? Somebody That's might true. scroll Twitter and That's find true. an unpopular That's comment true. and say, fuck you. That's true. No That's one's true. watching. No one's in your comments unless they watch your videos. 30 minutes. Yeah. 30 years of hits. And people do watch. I was at the Priscilla premiere the other day. Benny Drama goes, oh my God, I really needed your video the other day. The video of you at the motel. I was watching. I said, Benny Drama, you were watching my YouTube videos. Like, I watch all of them. And I said, do you wear makeup? Why do you watch a makeup video? He's like, I don't know. <laughs> a lot of people watch makeup videos who don't even wear makeup. Yeah, no, I, I can see that. I think it's like Bob Ross, Happy it's Trees. It's splashy. Yeah, yeah. It's also, it's, it's pretty, it's splashy. It's and there's a, splashy. there's a before, middle, and after. There's mm-hmm. a journey. And oh, yeah. you know, you can tell how long it is. 11 minutes. I got 11 minutes. Great. Absolutely. Honey, I watched, um, I watched a bunch of fucking, you know what I watched? I watched train videos. Trains. Trains on the track. 
Trains on the track. Doing what? Going through train tracks. Whoop, whoop, whoop. In the, tra- in, the, in the bridge. Around the corner. Under the bridge. In the sun. In the rain. Around the just corner. Just driving? Just training. Boop, boop. Honk, now, do you like... Honk. I love these videos that are like... Cozy jazz music in a oh, cafe yeah. during oh, the yeah. winter yeah, in yeah. Cincinnati yeah. the night your mom yeah. died. <laughs> it's always so specific. Yeah. yeah. Paul Abdul's B-sides playing softly from a car that's dying on fire. Yes! Yeah, totally. Yes. Yeah. It's so specific. <laughs> yeah. It's like Michael Bolton from another room while your grandfather confronts your grandmother about the personal loan she took in 1986. It's so fucking crazy. And the more specific they are, I love like um there's this band I love called Beach Bunny. They have this song called, I think, <gasps> Sports. There was one channel I saw that was like three and a half hours of the song Sports by Beach Bunny, but it's in another room during the rain. And oh, I was yeah. like, who are these I know. young <laughs> queer people? Uploading this stuff. Uploading the weirdest well, shit. I, I mean, YouTube is like, it is, I think, it occurred to me the other day because I was watching the 2023 Worlds and- I, it didn't even register. I was on YouTube. It popped up and I was like, okay, the entire women's competition free of ads. Well, do With you have the YouTube BBC com- Of course I do. Of course I do. I will. I, listen, there's two things in this world I stand by. YouTube premium. Wow. Presents plus $4 a month, $5 a month. Yeah. Even just for, uh, that's a good deal. It's a good deal. It's a good deal. YouTube premium is worth every, every, penny. every, when I'm, when I'm not logged into my, cause I have like, Why my, bother? my Katya account has, does not have YouTube premium. It's my like personal account that does. If I'm on like somebody else's, whatever. And an ad pops up, I'm like, why, bother? why don't you just fuck me in the ass Literally, with, a, with a knife? With a knife, with a, with a knife <laughs> up the ass. <laughs> knife up the ass. If I'm trying to watch like a, a no. beauty YouTuber's apology video and I got a Clorox ad, I leave the room. If I'm doing psychedelics and I have and I have 60 mega gigahertz of like flying to the moon, you yeah, know what I mean? Like, I know. I don't want to do a, a Clairol ad in the, Mary, right before. I thought I'd try like, to watch a fucking, I don't know, um, <laughs> we're going to order cakes from one star bakeries and five star bakeries and compare and contrast. Something yeah. I love is cut to an ad and then it's like mama's got white right <laughs> I said I now have to smash the computer and I have to find this woman's home and kill her it, I, I get rage I rage out that could be its own video <laughs> Trixie Mattel rage gets an ad. ad in another room during the rain on the 4th of July during protests yes. how, how does that, is, is her gunfire be, <laughs> and fireworks how to differentiate yeah. um, oh, how to uh, your your Ugh. father listen. Your father watching Roseanne in the living room while your mother discusses the divorce in a hushed voice on her Nokia <laughs> in two thousand four on in the Lanai. Korean. Yeah, in Korean, like they're too specific. They're it's too so specific. Good. It used to be like lo so fi beats to yeah, study yeah. to. Have you ever watched that? Of course. Of that course. is a very consistent right. channel where the yeah. comments. That's like a chat room where people are chatting all day on that. And channel. also, but the the ones that are like happiness frequency or like. Um, a chakra release frequency. Those comment sections are exclusively, uniquely positive. Well, They're all like sending love I, and light. Yep. I was like, whoever's watching this, I hope you have the best day. 450 million likes on the, on the comment. Now, and what I'm do like, you make of YouTube comments? What do you make of the comment? First, <laughs> that to think, me is get up a there. Life, with, girl, get a life, bitch. If get I, it's like, life, well, bitch. you know, my brother's in prison. Really? Why? He commented on a YouTube video first. I would go, he fucking deserved it. I hope he rots in there. I swear to God, that is so fucking offensive to me. First, and you know, for a while, while Presents Plus was commenting first on their own videos just to fuck with people. But it's so crazy. That's so crazy. Oh. Whoever reads this, I hope you have a lovely life yeah. and I hope you need to hear this today. That's that's, that's a little less it, crazy. It was, it was, at least you're spreading positive. No, it was po- it's positive. And I was like, and sometimes at late at night, I would go through them and I'd like try to comb for a bad one. Couldn't find one. I was like, wow. On uh? There's one. No, no, no. Oh. On the happiness frequency or the um, the chakra release uh, videos or whatever. Like, you know, these like yeah. uh, uh, gigahertz or whatever kind of like ambient videos. The best is when it's our content and the, the comments are like, uh, this show used to be so good. Now they just retell stories and laugh. I'm like, where have you been? <laughs> That's all we've ever done. And Seriously. they weren't good then. Yeah. The stories don't get better the more we tell them. Or the longer ago it happened, the more fuzz I am on what happened. Thank now they're you. just hearing fish stories. Thank you. Yeah. They're like, so first you were in the same room as Oprah. Now the story is that you met her. Now you're saying you were married to her for six and a half years. Like, 
You're you're fucking stretching the truth, bitch. I know it's fierce. It's fierce. It's YouTube fierce. is a fun place. YouTube is YouTube. amazing. I love YouTube. I love it too. Well, so I when I was I was thinking back when I was fucking sixteen, I would have had, now if sixteen uh, sixteen year olds now have access to every single recorded gymnastics um, routine ever. What would have happened to you if that happened? Mama, if you had that? I don't know. It would have been a whole different story. I probably would have never left the room. Do you remember when you got like high speed internet? Do, do, do no. you remember when you got the type of internet where you could click a YouTube video no. and it would immediately play? I don't remember. I remember so long my ago. first day of college, I'd never had Wi Fi in my life. I never experienced Wi Fi. I was like, how do you get internet? And they're like, it's in the air. And I was like, whatever, okay. bitch. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So I'm in the dorm. I log in my Wi Fi. And I remember loading in a YouTube video and seeing the bar fill. I could watch it immediately and be like, holy shit. So I'm never leaving this room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I, mean, I have a lot I'd, to get through. I don't know. Like, I honestly, I don't know what I would have done. I mean, I would have watched every video. Here's I would a, have watched every video. And if you have YouTube premium, like I do, I think you also have access to YouTube music, which is oh, like, yeah. if you want to hear a song, watch the YouTube video. Yeah. And also something else great about YouTube premium is you can watch a video, turn off your phone and the sound will still play. So I, if you want to hear true. a podcast or a song. Yeah, that's true. It's fierce. YouTube premium is so worth it. I don't even know how much it is now. Isn't I think it's horrible? like $12. dollars I think it's like twelve dollars. I think it would be worth. I think it'd be worth fifty. I'm gonna say twenty five. If 50. you watch a lot of YouTube, I watch YouTube it's every day. every day. It's worth fifty dollars. It's so worth it. We're not sponsored. Yeah. Nope. No. But YouTube, I guess we are on YouTube. Yeah. Whatever. YouTube is great. Also, not to be whatever about it. In entertainment, so many walls are put up by rich white straight men mm -hmm. who tell other people. Mm, you're not mainstream enough. You're not whatever. Yeah. On YouTube, if you have a microphone and a camera and whatever iMovie, a dream, you can just make basically run your own little mini TV channel. It's fierce. You yeah. get your own ad money, do your own content. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. I love doing YouTube. John McLean, of course. Films. 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 They are going to watch this. Incredible. Film. Incredible. Films. I, get into I it. wait for him to say films. 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 That is it's like it's yes. so fierce. It's so fierce. No, no other place. YouTube.com. YouTube. YouTube is wild. The beauty world on YouTube. It's a whole. I mean, other, I'm a little sliver part of that, but yeah, it's a whole. It's a whole world. landscape. It's a whole landscape. It's a whole industry. Yeah. Also, it's the politics of views going up and down, and mm -hmm. um, the types of content, the Mr. Beast of it all, mm -hmm. the giving away Lamborghinis of it all, Lamborghinis of it all. I was like, oh, really? On Ellen, what you gave away uh, Jennifer Love Hewitt's book? Yeah. Well, Mr. Beast gave my mom Mars. Yeah, he's you know giving away I mean? $400,000 cars. Yes. Yeah. Pack it up, Ellen. You yeah. know? Anyways. I And then these some of these YouTube channels are so big, they are a mini TV station. No, they actually are. They have dozens of mm -hmm. employees. Yeah. It's empires. Little YouTube empires, channel. yeah. And with one misstep, they can get whew, torpedoed. It's well, fierce. Fierce. It's a it's a push and pull because on YouTube there's a level of intimacy where people believe they know you. Mm. So if you let them down, they feel like they've almost let themselves down, and they're gonna let you know about it. Whereas like I don't know if they confirm that the owner of Jimmy John's is poaching big game. Yeah, you're probably still gonna eat a sandwich, not think twice about it. Right. If the owner of a huge makeup brand had a different political view than you, you probably would still buy that mascara. Yeah. But if it's like a YouTube channel, an indie channel, an indie brand. Yeah. They're like, show me the fucking tax returns now, you pig. It's it's really but that's the benefit of YouTube is the level of intimacy. People feel like they're in the room with you. Show me the tax returns, you, you pig. pig. <laughs> Fuck. YouTube, well, man. Well, I love it. I love it. I love it. Yeah. Um, if you haven't subscribed to the Trixie and Kati channel on YouTube or if you're oh, listening in the car, it. you can always watch us on the YouTube. And you can subscribe to my channel even though I have not uploaded anything in quite a while and will continue to not do so in in, in quite a while. But still- time, time flies on YouTube. But you can go back. Honey, there's all there. Watch my music videos. They're fierce. They're I did hunty. The other day I was talking to my editor, Nick, and I mm -hmm. said, Nick, you and I have been working together so long. How many videos do you think we've done? 50, 40, 40, yeah. 50? He's like, he texted me back the next day. We've done over 300. I said- Talk about it. But the time flies. Time you know flies. how many episodes of uh there are? 116. No, it's like 250 or something, girl. Really? Yes. Wow. We've been doing that shit for like eight years. And we years. will continue to do it. What if we do it for 10 years? I think we should. I, I had a dream that we had an Emmy. I had a, so I had a dream that I coordinated with like as a present for you. For some reason, you were kind of out to lunch. And I was like in bed with the Emmy board committee. And um and I we... I was like, you're so surprised because I was like, 
we're going to the Emmys. And it's like, it's like, you, you told me like, you want to go to the Emmys? I was like, yeah. And drag is like, yeah. And I, sh- and I was, I looked cunt. I had like a blonde ponytail with so a it's black really a dream. It was a dream, <laughs> a black leather bustier dress with black leather gloves, not sweating a dream, um, a fantasy. We looked cunt, so cunt, getting images. And then we won and you cried. If we ever won an enemy, I know you're supposed to be poised. No, you you would cry, blubbery cry. I would cry. get up to that microphone. Not. I would say, I know none of you fuckers <laughs> thought this would happen for us. I can know it. And y'all can eat shit. <laughs> you fat pigs. You fat pigs. <laughs> and we'll see next year. We'll see next year. Like, By the way, I just won an award. This is not part of it. Uh, this is what the, the is American that? Reality Television Awards. Trixie Motel won the Outstanding Docu oh, Series. Work. What is that? A little receiver? Little television. A little television. Cute. I couldn't believe it. Isn't that fun? Welcome. Anyway, that wasn't related. <laughs> I, I put it here to show it to you, and then I forgot about it. Oh, that's fun. I love that. This is a fun award. We Heavy. can win an Emmy someday. No, I think we're gonna. I think we're gonna do you're it until we get to want Emmy. it. Though. No, you're gonna want it. You're not supposed to want. It. You're supposed to be like. What? I was like, no, never, no, no. You pay Ooh. your publicist a quarter million dollars to launch an Emmy campaign, and then you go, I didn't even want that. Yeah, exactly. I was like, that was the whole thing in the dream. It was like the politics of this was like I think I had slept with someone who was like on the board or something. That's our only way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, so. you think that exposing your naked body to someone's <laughs> gonna make them give us an award? Okay. <laughs> What's gonna happen is you're gonna have to die. I know. Like oh, if, I know. If we did a season of uh, and then we tried to get nominated and you die, even though it's fake. Yeah, disappear. Disappear. Yeah. And I have to go up there and I go. I, just, <laughs> I, I wish she was here. And then I fly <laughs> in. Na 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 na. Rubber band. Fly for the back of the room. So uh, I snatch it. And then I go back. yes, and straight through the wall. And then there's a cut of you. <laughs> That's fierce. Ooh, there ain't no other way. That's fierce. Oh, fuck. Okay. All right. Bye. Goodbye.